In this episode, we'll make the shop and upgrades. Let's get started. First of all, import the assets, the shop sprite. I've already put the link in the description. Just check it out and import the assets. I've already imported here. You can see first we have the shop layout one, which has the first four items with the down arrow, which can be used to switch between pages. And the second page has other items. Total, we have eight items. Then we have the background separated. We have down button. We have each item separated like menu one item one and then we have menu one item two menu one item three menu one item four then we have menu two item one which is page two item one basically and so on then we have shop button which will be used to open the shop and close button which will be used to close the shop so let's get started with code now so in the green flag collect first of all hide then when i receive start game now we don't need to put hide because we need to show the shop button so that we can open the shop when the game has started. So you can just select the shop button costume here and click on show and you can just place it right here. I've already placed it. So I'll just directly put go to x 121 and y negative 160. Also the size is 70. So I'll just put your set size to 70%. Then you can just put your go to front layer and show after that. We can just start scripting it so forever for a button script. We can just go to audio on and off and get this script. You can just drag the script here and here we have it. You can just remove this if an else statement, just remove it and put it in the forever loop. Here we have it. Now this will work perfectly. The game has started. Here we have the button. It is working. Now we need to put the open shop command. So you can just put here uh, above this broadcast open shop. So this will open the shop. Now we also need to make sure the shop button is hidden when the shop is open. So you can just make a variable called shop open with a question mark. Click on OK for all sprites and set shop open to one. If the shop open value is one, that means the shop is open. And if it is zero, the shop is closed. So if the shop is open, we need to just hide and then wait until put an equal to operator shop open is equal to zero. So wait until shop is basically closed and then it will show. So now when we open shop, so when I receive open shop, first of all, uh, the size is 70, the X and Y's are not in the center. So we'll just make sure that is a thing now. So go to X0, Y0 and set size to 100%. And as we are doing this, we also need to make sure we go back to the size 70, like set size to 70. And also we go back to X and Y, this positions x 121 y negative 160 and now we can start scripting the shop so go to x 0 y 0 set size 200 and now we need to make the clones so let's count the number of clones we have already so go to layout and as you can see here we have the background we have the down button we have the eight items like four here and four on the next page we load them together so eight items one down button one background and a close button which will be at last so we have total of 11 clones so we'll use the build block let's make the build block build with a number input start with another number input name start run without screen refresh should be checked click on ok and here we have a new block this can basically be used to create multiple clones at once so we'll just make another variable called clone number for the spread only click on ok and set clone number to start then repeat build number times create clone of myself and change clone number by one so now the script will work when we put it here so build should be 11 as we are making 11 clones and it should start from zero now we can start scripting the clones so when i start as a clone first of all go to front layer and show so it will be visible then if put an equal to operator if clone number is equal to one then it should be the background like the first clone is background as it will be at the back of everything so switch to costume background duplicate this put it here so the second clone if clone number is equal to 2 that should be the down button down button will have similar scripts like a button which will just change the menu so to change the menu we should have a variable called menu number for all sprites click ok and now we can script it so forever you can put an if else statement now these size things will not work here so we can just put a different effect like first of all when touching mouse pointer and just put here maybe set brightness effect to negative 10 and the else you can just put here set brightness effect to zero and you can put the other scripts here like you can just duplicate this if you want remove everything inside and just put it here so if mouse down wait until not mouse down then if touching mouse pointer here you we can put our scripts that will happen when we click on the down button you can just put here an fl statement and an equal to operator with menu number 
So if menu number is equal to one, it will set menu number to two, and in else you can just put set menu number to one, and that will create the button. Now we need to make the shop items, and for that we can just make a new block which will be called. You can just put in square brackets shop item, then put clone number, then put an input for that, then you can put the item number, then an input for that, then price, an input for price, then an input for score per click SPC. Which is basically CPC and a lot of clicker games. Then SP, which is score per second, SPS. And yeah, that's it. If you need any more, we can add later. So click on OK, and here we have it. Yeah, we forgot one. Let's let's edit and add menu number with an input. Now we can just script it. So you can just first of all duplicate this script and put it here. First of all, put clone number here, and then we can just put some join ones here. So just nest four of them. Like this. So now we have four inputs here. So you can just put your menu, and in the next one, you can put the menu number. This M num. Then you can put your item, and in the fourth one, you can just put item number and put it here. So it will switch to the right costume. Then in forever, if touching mouse pointer, the effect should be the same. Then you can just remove this. Now what happens when we click on it? First, it will check if the player even has the score to buy this item. So to check that, you can just put your if else. Then you can just put your a greater than operator and a minus operator inside of that. In the first one, you can just put score. In the second one, you can put price. In the third one, you can put one, which is basically score is greater than or equal to price. Now in the else, you can just put an effect which will show that the player does not have money and it cannot buy it. You can just put like set fish eye effect to negative. 25 and in the if we can program the rest which will be the buying procedure so we can just check in the shop as you can see an item of $100 price you gives you plus 2 per second click and plus 1 per click which is basically this is our sps and this is our spc plus 2 will increase every second and plus 1 will increase every time we click so if our spc is already 1 this will make it 2 And if we buy it again, it will make it three. So we first of all need to make a variable for that. We already have SPC. We need to make SPS, which is score per second for all spreads. Click on OK, and now we can just change them here. So change SPC by SPC here, just like this. Then you duplicate this. Change SPS by remove this SPS. Then also we have need to deduct the cash. So change. Score by and put a multiply operator here. So multiply operator. Put a price and negative one here, and that will basically deduct the money. So player got what it wanted, and the price was deducted. Now we also need to make sure it is in the right menu. Otherwise, the item will just appear in all menus, and it will be a mess. So we can just put here an if else statement and an equal to operator. You can just duplicate and get it from here. Instead of C num, we can put here M num, which is the menu number. And here you can just choose menu num. So if menu number is equal to the correct menu number of the item, it will just show. Otherwise, it will just hide. So you can just put the entire thing beneath show. And put it here. So I think we are done with this. So now we need to put the block like this. So clone number is three here. So three item number is one. The menu number here already put it. Menu number is one. The price of the first item was hundred. You can just see it here. It is hundred plus two SPS and plus one C SPC. You can just duplicate this like eight times, just like this. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And in items you can just put one, two, three, four. Then again one, two, three, four. Menu one, 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 two, 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 and two. Then you can just change the prices accordingly. And here we are done with putting all the values. So we have total of ten items. One thing we forgot was the close button. Now you can just remove this from here and duplicate it. Duplicate the second one. And here you can just drag it. To the bottom, very bottom of this, you can just put it here and join them. So now this should be the eleventh clone, which is the last clone, and then here you choose close button. Now you can just remove this, and here you can just put a broadcast, broadcast close shop, and here we have it. Now it will just close the shop. It will also set shop open to zero. This will close the shop, and to delete all the shop clones, you can just make another script here. Like when I receive close shop, just delete this clone. So this will delete all the clones. We forgot to put switch to costume shop button. Here we go. 
click on play and here we have a shop button and items are not visible that is because we did not set menu number to one because it should be one now if we see all of them are visible when you click down arrow it is working it is working perfectly fine now i have zero money so if i click here it will just go back and it should go back to normal as well so you can just program it here like go to the script which i have duplicate set it to zero and put a delay of zero seconds just like this so now when i click it will go back to normal as well and yeah this is working also we need to make sure that you go to cookie first of all and put your set score per second to zero in when we start the game also we need to make sure that score per second is actually working and to do that you can just put your when i receive start game forever change score by score per second and also wait one second now this should work our shop is done let's see if it works play let's hit 100 here we have 100 when you go to shop i buy this now it is automatically increasing by two as it was said in the item and when i click it will increase by six as said in the item so the items are working the shop is working that is it the shop is working perfectly fine make sure you copy the code properly so you don't have any errors and yeah thank you for watching